Hey guys, Zach from Kubota Lynchburg here. Today I wanted to talk to you about what are some of the most important accessories to have on your tractor. We've done a video before on what are the most important implements, the best implements to have on your tractor of whatever size, whether it be a, you know, a grapple or a quick hitch or a box blade. But today we're going to talk about accessorizing your tractor. So it's the little things that are going to make your jobs a lot more easier, your projects easier, the overall day-to-day -day use being more enjoyable and fun on your tractor or more comfortable on your tractor while you're using it. So I've got with me a couple tractors here in the background. Um, I was really lucky today. I actually, we've got a big service shop and I've got one of this customer's tractor who has almost everything I'm going to talk about on it. So I borrowed it. Thank you, Mr. Floyd. He doesn't even know I'm using it for this video, but I'm putting it here because I can do a lot of show. So we're going to start on the front. First thing you can see on this bucket edge is a tooth bar. Now this one is specifically called a piranha tooth bar. Very good for slicing uh, material, taking off the top of soil, slicing through roots and tree stumps and everything like that, the small size. They also make digging tooth bars, but that is probably one of the number one accessories that we sell would be a tooth bar for the bucket. Imagine cutting through a loaf of bread with a butter knife versus cutting through a loaf of bread with a serrated knife. That's how much easier a tooth bar on the bucket makes it digging into dirt and gravel. He's also got some nice little things that I don't really top my list, but I'll show them while we're here. He's got hooks on his bucket. A lot of times you can either bolt them on or weld them on. They are nice for throwing a chain around or a rope around and picking stuff up off the ground rather than trying to, you know, juggle it around the more delicate parts of the loader on it. So weld on hooks or bolt on hooks are really nice as well. We're going to go to the third function. This kind of ties in with our, my most popular implement, the grapple. Probably the most appreciated implement that I sell would be the grapple. Having a third function on the front of your tractor is really nice for running a grapple if you have the use for it. There's a couple other things you can do. You can do lane sharks and that kind of stuff, cutters off the front of it if you have an appropriately sized tractor, but usually used for a grapple, so that's where it's nice. If we work our way back, probably with the tooth bar, one of my other top five needed kind of accessories is going to be an LED light bar or lighting system. These tractors have headlights, but that's about it. Um, so when you're working late at night, you have no side light, you have nothing that's pointing over your bucket, because if your bucket's in front of your headlights, you can't see anything, and there's nothing off the back. So either an LED light bar or a set of LED lights that swivel, and you can see this one will swivel back and forth. Oh, this is actually magnet, even better, nice. So you can swip, switch it around. Get a set of LEDs. When you're working late in the evening, it's well worth it. Again, a little thing that doesn't top my list, but he's got a steering wheel spinner knob. It does make turning a lot easier when you do a lot of tight turns. One of these, it's even Kubota branded, is really nice to have. Um, on the back, he does have a trailer mover. Maybe in my top 10 accessory nice, um, you know, ones that it needs. You slide a little uh, hitch in here. You can move around trailers, um, a whole bunch of other things with this. It's just a very simple, easy thing to get. They cost you about 70 bucks, 80 bucks online if you want to get one. It's well worth it if you ever do plan on moving around little trailers or anything like that. Um, so tooth bar, LED lights, third functions, those are important. One of the other things, if you're going to be outside in the field a lot, behind me on the bigger tractor is going to be a canopy. So having a canopy is going to do a couple things. It keeps, of course, the rain and stuff off of you, but most importantly, keeps the sun off of you. It gets hot out there. Um, when you're go doing a field on this size tractor and you're pulling a hay rake or a tedder or a bush hog, it is nice to be in the shade. It is well worth it to have a canopy on there. They're not cheap. There's no such thing as a cheap canopy. Even the cheapest ones are about 300, 400 bucks, but it is well worth it to have it on there. The other thing I'm gonna show you on this tractor that I think if you had an appropriately sized tractor, in my opinion, almost anything bigger than a B series, well worth it, would be a set of rear hydraulic remotes. Kind of like the third function on the front, we do a set of hydraulic remotes on it. This is to run things like your angle blades, um, to run a snow blade on the back. If you have a bush hog that is going to be basically rotating up and down, you can be using this hydraulic function to run and rotate and move that. Um, you can run things like a hydraulic toppling cylinder. This doesn't have, but you can run a hydraulic toppling cylinder off of it. A lot of uses out of a rear remote, more uses out of a rear remote than a front, and usually even cheaper as well. And the last thing I'm going to show you, if you have a big cab tractor that you're using all the time, like this one behind me, once again, you can see the LED lights on the top of it. This customer, when he traded in, had it tinted. A tinted cab keeps it that much cooler when you get into the sun in the days. So he's got a nice tinted cab, keeps the heat down. That AC system can keep up when you're cutting hay when it's 100 degrees out. So 
when you're getting tractor, consider those small things that make it more comfortable. You know, as a dealership, when we're selling them with it, I throw all that into the financing. Um, I put all that into the financing. It's concluded with it. So an extra, you know, 75 bucks for a three-point hitch trailer mover, it's going to change your payment by $1 a month. It's worth getting that when you get your tractor to make things more comfortable. See what, uh, ask me and let me know which implements and what accessories you guys prefer best. I'm always looking to add more things to my repertoire to keep customers happy. So let me know what accessories you guys like.